Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro is coming up. I'm Mike Emmerich. And tonight, we get to see the top team in the league. wonder what it's like to coach the best team. Well, why wouldn't you, Doc? You certainly want to be standing behind that bench. But there are some challenges because you know the opposition is going to bring their best. They know that we're playing really well. They don't want to get embarrassed. So I think the challenge is to continue to get the focus from your team, play the way that you have, but understand is that you're going to have to bring your work boots here tonight to have any chance of winning this game. Sudbury's coaching staff has prepared them extremely well. Regardless of the situation, they never change. If they're up a goal, down a goal, they stay with their same game plan and adjust accordingly. That's why they're on top of the league stand. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Won the last one, so he starts this one. Tough outing last game, but he'll look to bounce back in this one. Two teams chomping at the bit. Let's get going. The Wolves have the first possession of the game. Passing one off now to Anderson. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Zone. Around through the corner. Took it up the boards and holds. Right along the line. On the outside, a shot. Great save. The Wolves have the puck at center ice. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Near the boards. Takes it in from the neutral zone. He's got that point pass. And he picks it up. Right play, right pass up the right wing, and it's on his stick. Great shooting lane. Big point blank save there. Equal to the challenge. Nice stop. Here he's along the wing at center ice. Back in his defensive end to get it. Is able to move on in. Back to the point. Got it on his stick in the slot. He got a piece of that one. Using the point. Let's it go. Save there. The Wolves are driving it from the wing. Twist one. Great glove save, but it's loose. Let's the shot fly. A dangerous shot off the mask. Play is halted right now, so it's a chance to hear from Ray Ferrar. Well, it goes a long way if you can get the first goal or two. You can stretch the other team out, make them make a couple of mistakes defensively, so now they have to take chances to get back in the game. Okay, Ray, thank you. Nicely received at the point. Receives that pass from the other side. Just inside the line. Shot on. Oh, it's 
high. Got to clear it. Centering pass. Swept aside. Along the outside. Setting it up. Great momentum on this ship. Skill, speed. They score! Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. Sudbury's come up big on another faceoff. Driving in from no man's land. A strong pan stop there. Didn't get a thing of that. That's a brilliant reception of a great long pass. Quick wrist shot. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks to go up. No celebration this time. Under seven minutes have elapsed here in the first. It's a 1-0 game. The Wolves with a face-off win. Around to the corner. The Wolves control the play in the defensive zone. Moves up along the boards. Picks it up back there. Leads that charge into the zone. Let's it go. Outstanding save off a chance. Good job on the draw. The pickup. Let's it go. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. You got to think that's a game changing save there. Rister handled with the stick. Boy, stick to stick artistry there. He's got it and moves ahead. Takes that pass. Quick shot. Stole that pass away in his own end. When you have a lead, you want to make sure plays. They've done that most of the night. This is not the time to try a hope play. Oh, he got that. Sudbury's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Carries it to the corner. A shot. He saved it. Strong save. The Otters with a neutral zone possession along the wing. Shot. Wonderful stop. Robson, what a stop. This is frustrating. The goaltender makes a save by getting just a chunk of the shot. Sudbury's confidence is at a sky-high level. Anything they need to do over the last 10 games, they've been able to find it. They need a big goal, they get it. They need a big save, they get it. They've been 180 degrees from their opponent, who has got none of that over their last 10. Here he's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. The Wolves will send out their power play unit for the first time. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebound. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Fires! Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Wolves win that faceoff. Turned a shot on net. Good work there in goal. It's 
Sudbury's offense has run through his hands for most of the last little while. His point streak continues. He has been a force both at five on five and on the power play over the last few games. Good shooting plays. Got iron with the shot. Man, they would have loved to have pad that lead. Score! A power play goal. And it's a biggie. a player defenders need to look out for he has a wicked release and you can see it on this play he snaps it home from the low slot really don't know if he can do much more than that he's in the right shape he drops to the butterfly to cover the bottom half of the net but this is perfect up over top of him the wolves control from the neutral zone on the power play by number gains the zone oh snaps the shot save Strong wrister. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Got it at the point. Perfect wrister. Oh, and that shot is way off. Doc, these are chances that keep you up at night. A shot from the slot and he misses by that much? Got to do way better than that. Defensive Jim with the stick. The Wolves are skating it up at neutralize. Great poke check there. Steps across that line. Shoots one. Loud pad save. Wonderful work and goal. The Wolves are controlling in their own end. Good defensive play, hand to eye and center ice. Delayed penalty call. Who gets to advance the puck? Goalie to the bench, arm still in the air. Substitution made. Fires use that big goalie stick well. Anderson's got two minutes for interference. You got to be in control. You just can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have a puck. The Otters are going on their first power play opportunity of the game. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Great move in the slot. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. Anderson's among the highest goal scorers in the league. He does his damage from in close to the net. He'll power his way in looking for rebounds. He's got a real knack for where the loose puck is. Good set up off the win. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Slides it to the point. Shot on. And a save. Strong wrist shot. Why? Shot it back out of his own end. Long way to go and not much time to do it. Brings it in for an attack. Flings it. Oh, what a chance there denied. The pad flexed out. And yet another save. How does he do that? And still another save. What a show. The Wolves need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a stake. Defensive zone win. Propelled to Anderson. He's got that pass off the wing and can move ahead. Terrific glove save. Anderson's an aggressive player, but his aggressiveness sometimes crosses the line. Well, I guess not sometimes. He has among the highest total penalty minutes in the league. He's going to sit again. 
Here he's gliding in the neutral zone. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. From the slaughter wrister. Anderson's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Now, oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The Otters power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. No matter how often you work on the power play, the ones that struggle go back to the same basic tenets. And it's to simplify things. Get it to the point, shoot it, get traffic, retrieve it, shoot it again. And the penalty killers come up. Inside the final minute of the period. Sudbury's coaches have been prodding them to play a more consistent brand of hockey. And while that's been a struggle at times, for the most part, they've been as good as anybody. They continue to put points in the bank even when they don't have their A game dock. As a result, they lead the league in points. We will watch them with great interest tonight, Ray, to see if they can live up to their expectations. Clears the zone. Here he's moving to center. Very important steal for him. That puck struck him in front. Puck lifted out, and the next thing we will see are zeros. First period has been completed. And so, intermission activities are forthcoming, but the players get a breather. A pair of pucks entered the net in that period, both from the same set of sticks. It's 2-0. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? The Erie's are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they got to eliminate those turnovers. Period about to begin. A little time left on the penalty kill, so still some responsibility there. Rister from the slot. He just sent the shot wide. The Wolves did a good job on that penalty kill, so it's even. That was one he'll get the number on. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. To the half wall. Back to the blue line. A great opportunity, but he missed the net. When you shoot the puck that hard, I don't know if you have to lean into it that much. You gotta get it on the net to give yourself a chance. Erie's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Gains that offensive line. Takes that pass off the boards. The Wolves in their own end, controlling the play. Moves it to the corner. And he hammers one. Routine save, but a necessary one. Anderson's creativity has been on display most of the season as he has among the highest total points in the league. Just under three minutes have gone by. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Just couldn't make it. Great pass ahead. A shot. Say. The Otters are lucky they're within a stone's throw of this game, Doc. Their goaltender has saved them so many times, they just can't skate with this team. Chooses the corner. Gives it to the point. Puck grab. What's next? Broke it up well with the poke check. The Wolves have it along the side at mid ice. Fires. Had flashed out to turn that aside. Gives it over to the point. Passes to the slot. Had saved. Collect it now. Steps in from the neutral zone. He takes that point pass. Shoots one. At least he protected his goaltender. Pitching this one to Anderson. The Wolves skated up on the side. A whistle. Offside is called. They've won the neutral zone faceoff. Crosses that line. 
He's got that pass at the point. Puck heads to the neutral zone. The attackers, of course, follow. He loads it up. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Nice face-off work. The Otters with possession up the wing. From the outside. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. The goalie's seen a lot of rubber tonight. His team defensively hasn't helped him out very much, but he's turned aside almost everything. And as a result, they have the lead. Right in front. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Here he's in their own end and has possession. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. A shot. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Whistle is blown. Penalty call. Guilty party departs. Anderson's going to the box, and the call is tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Well, the power plays had some good opportunities so far here tonight. They have to stay with their game plan. I agree entirely, Eddie. Let's see if they prove us right here. He better be careful. This is multiple penalties again tonight. If you continue to take penalties like this, you're going to find yourself parked in the middle of the bench. Clean went on the draw. Cleared it back out of there. They must retreat and start back again. He gains the zone. That puck came back to center ice, and so everything slows down for just a bit. Cuts that pass off. Quick wrister. Oh, came so close. Oh, that one just missed the target. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. That shot hit a man. Dishes it back. Solid work by the offense. The Otters needed something from their power play and didn't get it. May not have intended it, but it hit it. Puck controlled now by the defense. Oh, broke it up. Sudbury's carrying on up the wing. With a blast. Not on the net. The goalie's lucky that just sailed wide. He got all of that one. Good keep at the line. More attack coming. Say. Holds on and gets that whistle. A little under nine minutes left to go here in the second. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Right into the slot. He missed the net. Takes that pass in the corner. Here he's in possession as they travel through the neutral zone. And he's tripped and there'll be a penalty. The Wolves have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Are you listening? They've been on the power play before. It's not been very effective, but they get another one handed to them here. The Wolves get two for delay of game. That's a very frustrating penalty, Doc, for everybody. The player did not mean to shoot the puck out of the rink. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five-on-three power play, and it begins now. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. A five-on-three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. Terrific work with the glove. Couldn't keep it, though. Snaps one. A great block of that shot. The Wolves are skating it back in their own air. 
Great block, and he's able to just keep it working. Let's it go from close in. Tremendous pressure. Heaves one. Outstanding point blank save. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. Critical win of the draw. Shoot. Wonderful stop. Cleared it out of there. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. The Otters skated up on the side. Shoots. Just couldn't find the target. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. In the slot. That shot came from right in front. The goalie makes himself look big. With it now. Holds in the corner. Shoots. Score! A goal on the power play. Here he's gotten an important goal here. They call it the proximate goal. It gets you back to within one. And considering we're in the second period, that's a nice step. The Wolves are at the wing in neutral ice. And he dumps it in. Seconds. It's from the left wing. Up to the point. And he sends it to the net. He banks a pass ahead. That's somebody that's been around. He took a quick look up the middle of the ice. Nothing there, so he banks it off the boards to his partner, and out of the zone they go. Can start the attack going in the zone. To Anderson. Got that pass toward open ice. Shoots one. That's a great glove save. Wrist shot. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. Amazing reflexes on that second chance. A shot. Oh, a close call there. Linesman signals an offside. Oh, he'll take shots like that all night. Keep feeding them those muffins. He's going to stop every one of them. Sudbury's been blocking shots over the last few games at a crazy rate. Their players lie down to block shots. They get into the shooting lanes to block them standing up. This is something they work on pretty consistently at practice. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Terrific hand-eye. Carries it on in from center. Seeks the corner. To the point it comes. One minute left. Let's it go. Got his stick on the shot. Fires. And on top of that, another great stop. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie said no chance. That's an excellent save. Forty minutes have been played, and already we are looking forward to the third period.